Hi everyone, so here is my quiz review for quiz 5. The question that I will be covering will be question 4 on my quiz, which is what's the difference between holding sellers responsible for their products under a contract theory versus a tort theory? So the answer that I chose was contract theory is based on what people promise to do and tort theory is based on what people are just expected to do. Um, now where I got that answer from was in the book on chapter 8. I do have the 6th edition. Um, and I found my answer on page 175 under the subheading negligence. Um, it says that the distinction between contract law and tort law calls attention to two different ways to understand ethical duties. Um, under a contract model, the only duties that a person owes are those that have been explicitly promised to another party. Um, then, as you go further, it says that the ethical perspective that underlies tort law holds that we all owe other people certain general duties, even if we have not explicitly or involuntarily assumed them. Um, so basically, um, just to sum it up, or um, in more specified terms, contract theory is what people um, have promised to do, whereas um, tort theory is um, like certain general duties that we owe each other, that we, we're just expected to do um, as people in society. Um now, for the second option, I didn't say that this one was correct because it states that tort theory is based on a mutual agreement. Um, well, contract theory or a contract is also based on mutual agreement, so that couldn't necessarily be the case um, because that falls under both theories. Um, contract theory is based on financial interests, while tort theory is based on physical or emotional injuries. Um, contract theory is not always based on financial interest. You can enter into a contract um, that has no financial binding. Contract theory is based on what people put in writing. And tort theory is based on what people say out loud. Well, this is not necessarily true because not all contracts have to be put in writing. Yes, certain contracts um, ought to be in writing. Um but all contracts or you don't necessarily have to enter into a contract and it has to be in writing you can make a contract um just through um speaking speaking it um out loud okay so that is my quiz review for quiz five thank you